Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can configure SNMP version 3 on Cisco Identity Services Engine. As part of this demonstration I will be using Power SNMP Free Manager to demonstrate the joining of SNMP version 3. So with access to your ICE node enter global configuration and enable SNMP server. Now we need to create an SNMP user for version 3. So we'll do SNMP server. And we'll call our user SNMP version 3 user. And our password will be plain text. And we'll give the authentication password of password and the encryption or privacy password as proof password. We need to specify version 3 there. There we go. So now that's the SNMP user created. We now need to specify the SNMP version 3 host. Version 3. And for the purpose of this lab, we'll give it the same user as an MP version 3 user. And we need to specify the remote engine ID in hexadecimal format. So for my particular Power SNMP manager, I have my engine ID number here in hexadecimal. So I will just input that into here. Once you specified the engine ID, we now need to enter the password for authentication and encryption. So we'll do the same again for this step. Off pass and prev pass. We need to just check that there. It needs to be plain unless you have the hashed password for your environment. Okay, cool. So that should be all the configuration that's required on the ice side of things we can verify the configuration so we'll do show snmp server with the user so we can see that our particular user snmp version 3 user we can see the engine id engine id and we can see the authentication protocol is using sha and the Proof protocol or encryption protocol is using AES128. Now these can't be changed on ICE, so that's why these are set by default and you haven't got an option to change that. You can also just do a show run just to verify the SNMP configuration so we can see that the passwords that we entered have now been hashed so you can't see them and we can see that we've configured the host and we can see that we've configured the user so your environment may differ in terms of your NMS system that you're using however for this demonstration I will show you how we can add the ICE server so that it can send traps so on power SNMP, we go to tools configuration, 
configure the authoritative engine and in here you will see your SNMP version 3 engine ID what we need to do is we need to add that host name that we created on ice so SNMP version 3 user and enter the passwords that we give and we can specify the authentication protocol as SHA and AS128 for the proof protocol. Once we've done that click OK, OK again, OK and out of that, that. So now we need to add the SNMP agent which is the ICE server. So what we'll do we can see some traps coming in actually from the ICE server. So we'll add the agent configuration 192.168.50.241 SNMP version 3 user off password priv password and we'll change this to AES128 authentication can stay as SHA because that's what it is and it should as you can see there it's got the name it's pulled the name of ICE which is ICE lab and you can see that the description shows as Cisco Identity Services Engine so once we're satisfied with that just click OK and now we can see that we've got the SNMP uh, version 3 configured for Cisco Identity Services Engine. We can also see traps coming in from Cisco ICE. So we can click on those and you get all the relevant details here as well. So that's how you configure Cisco ICE or Identity Services Engine for SNMP version 3. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel simply by pressing subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that I upload, then please go ahead and press the notifications bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video.